Hello everybody, we are heading down to Samara, we are driving in the jungle, down from the casitas. See it's rainy season, how lush and beautiful everything oh, is. And it's hot today again. This road, it's in the dry season, it's, everything's not dead, but it's a lot of leaves and, the, nothing's ever really dead. and it's covered, just... and everything's covered with dirt, dust, all the lower vegetation. From the cars coming up and down. When you um when it gets like February time here, January end of January, February, everything's all like dusty. Everything's just dusty. There's still lots of greenery, it's just covered in dust. Everything's just growing and growing. But everything's beautiful crazy. Right now. Just absolutely beautiful. Gosh, everything's thick, even our mountain. Like, I transplanted my papaya today. And I look up on our mountain and everything's just all so thick, lush and green and it's just It beautiful. looks like a jungle now, yeah. But this is our road. When you drive up to our casitas, this is the road you're driving. So, can you drive it in a two-wheel two drive? Most definitely. No problemo. But always going to have a four-wheel drive. Well, yeah, if you're... If you're renting a vehicle or have a vehicle here, you want to go four-wheel drive that way too. You can go anywhere you want to. Because there are definitely some roads that you don't want to take a two-wheel drive on. And you might still want to go, like the Nacera, for example. And this is the view we always yeah. love when we come down the mountain. Yes, we don't have love ocean view. Love this view when we come down this mountain. At our property, but we don't really need it. Because every time we come into town, we get to see the view. And we don't get tired of it that way either. So it's always beautiful to see. Yes, you don't take and it for granted. There's a multitude of places that have beautiful views, of which we can tell you how to get all of them. But this, this, we, I know we've said this before, but honestly, our mountain is just beautiful. We say our mountain, but well, it's our, where we live, but it's just absolutely beautiful. The drive is gorgeous, too. Like, it's a beautiful drive. That's why the quads do a tour on our mountain, and all the, the quad tours come up here. Yeah. Because it's just so the road's beautiful. Uh, it's, like, it's, not, it's not a bad road to drive at all. No, we say like two-wheel drive. You, have, you can definitely do a two-wheel drive without a problem. You just, yeah, honestly, you got to go slow, but we go slow in the four-wheel drive, too. You got to take it easy, so, but it's nothing. There's nothing treacherous, no major drop-offs, nothing dangerous. And it's a kind of a true Costa Rican but experience. But it's slow, it doesn't mean like 10 kilometers an hour. Well, like, obviously, you know, it's just saying, don't be driving 80 kilometers, that's all. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm doing uh, almost 40 kilometers right now, so. Yeah. It's just saying, don't, you know. But it says slow, it doesn't mean five kilometers an hour. I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so. We said we'd bring you down and tell you what's going on with the beachfront in Samara, which is really sad actually. So the municipalities have told them they're no longer allowed to have their eating um, tables and chairs on the beaches anymore. So now Las Olas are having to bring all their tables and chairs down in this area now because they're not allowed to be on the beach. They had to take all the sails down, That's the tables and chairs. Back. All the restaurants now are not allowed to have any eating tables and chairs on the beaches, which is really sad. And one of the restaurants this week had to let like, go 15 employees because of this. Like 15 locals lost their jobs because of this, which is really, really sad. So we were talking to Christian the other day and they're trying to fight it, but whether they're able to or not, it's a whole other story. So, but it's really, really sad what they're doing. So it's not just affecting this place, it's affecting everybody all the way along the beaches. What a status! There's Mo. So we said we'd bring you down and tell you what's going on. So now all the tables and chairs. There's <laughs> well fancy seeing you, fancy seeing you guys down, fancy seeing you guys down here. <laughs> what are you guys up having a party? Yeah, it's well, a, we're, uh, um, we're quad, sitting here our right now. Meeting, <laughs> our, quad what? Meeting, our quad meeting. We get together and we discuss where we're going to go next. Oh, so and I don't think we discussed nothing, anything. No. Except, um, Where's Tracy? Where's Tracy? Tracy's at home swimming with her girlfriend. Oh, is she? So she's not here? No. No. Oh. We got gravel coming today, and she's with her girlfriend swimming in the pool. Oh, awesome. Do they come when they say they're coming? 
Yeah. Hasn't been pretty good. <laughs> okay, we'll let you get back to your meeting. Peace out, guys. <laughs> and there's Mo. Good Amita. So anyway, so this is where all the tables and chairs used to be. All up in here. All the sails are gone, tables and chairs are gone, which is really sad because like I said, that's why a lot of people come down here. They like to sit on the beach, like right on the beach. Don't get me wrong, you can still sit. I mean, you're still on the beach. It's just a lot smaller area now. Well, and you can take it from there on the beach. You can bring your own chairs or whatever. Yes, they're not but it's allowed, not the same. The, the, the catamaran out there. We can't bring food. So that's really sad. So anyway, so now, yes, it looks so weird without all the sails and that. It's so strange. And then... Yeah, it's not like there wasn't enough beach for everybody, but there certainly is. Yes. We were talking with one of the owners and they were saying that the municipality say that basically the tables and chairs pollute the environment, which I don't, I don't understand. Especially when there's like over a million stray dogs in Costa Rica and there's a lot of stray dogs around here um, doing their business everywhere. Which, I mean, I love the stray dogs. I think it's great seeing them roaming free. But I mean, if they're worried about pollution and they're worried about damage to the beach, then what are all these dogs doing? That, even, even people that bring their dogs down here, you know, to come and pee and, and swim in the water. And, you know, like, I, I, don't, I don't see the difference between that and a, ta a table and chairs. But anyway, it is what it is. So this is one of the other restaurants down here. And actually, the only part they've got for eating out is on the beach, because it's all rooms inside. So I don't know what's gonna happen there. And again, I don't know whether they've had to let go of staff, but like I said, one of the establishments had to let go 15. 15 locals lost their jobs this week because of this. That's just that we would, that we know. And I'm sure there's more. So, hola. so this is one of the other restaurants here. And this was all tables and chairs and everything all in this area, all in here, with all the lights and everything on the trees. And they're no longer gonna be able to be out here. They gotta try and figure out a way. They're gonna get all this in here now. So I have no idea. That's a lot of pillows. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, we'll carry on down here. But yeah, this is, you used to be able to, this is all the table and chairs in here, but now they're all, and it looks so nice here too. Because they that have the beautiful. swings and everything. And stainless, stained glass style lights hanging out here. Yeah, it was the just, lighting and, it was, it was beautiful. And I mean, and they actually, they maintain the beach because they keep the areas clean. And that's, so, yeah, that's the other thing we don't I get. I can see both points, but it's really, it's, it's Samurai, it's kind of a, it's own, um, circumstance here with the what so many beachfront restaurants it I might mean, not affect some of the other places so badly but. we come from a beach town ourselves like we lived in a beach town on lake erie so we know and we had a business right downtown so we know you know when you have establishments like this where people come down to the beaches and they want to be able to go and have somewhere to sit and have a drink and a bite to eat they bring the tourists here that's what they do they bring the tourists here they bring the tourists to the beaches you know, and now that they're telling them that they can't be out on the beaches, I mean, I, yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it is nice. It definitely was a lot nicer. Now you don't see any reason why they needed to change it. But no, and I mean, different units probably apparently a little bit different. Of the we don't know the whole political side no, no, of it, you know. No. But I mean, I, I said, well, why don't they just charge the restaurant? So, so I heard something about them not paying money or something like they've been, you know, making a living using the beaches, which are public in Costa Rica. Nobody owns the beaches that's public to everybody nobody owns them and unlike Canada where you know some Canadians think they own the beaches and they own the the waterfront of their their cottages and all that um, but here all beaches are public so anyway the other restaurants down there as well it's gonna be the same for them which is really sad but that's what's going on in Samara. Oh, so it's happening at the Augusto didn't have anything outside, but they had it all inside on. But I see well, the, there is some outside, I but see I, the steakhouse has still got all their stuff already. But they're not out on the beach, well, though. Really, they're no. not on the beach. No, they're so it's not the same. They're out on the top of the beach. Yes. 
And then up here, they've moved the horses. The horses used to be up in this area here. They've been moved. Police horses. Yeah, the police horses were there. They've been moved. And apparently they're putting some kind of little water park or something in there, a splash park or something, and bathrooms, apparently. So, um, I don't know. It's another beautiful day in Costa Rica. That's what I mean, you know, people often ask us about rainy season, they'll say, oh, is it really rainy? Like, do you get lots of, does it rain all the time? Most days it rains, right? No, it rains most days, yeah, but not all Steve days. Steve likes to come down because then he gets Beautiful to look at right women's now. butts and everything when he comes down here. Beautiful right But, now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely got a really nice breeze. You'll probably hear it on the, the camera, actually. I don't have a sock for this GoPro, so. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad that they've made some of the rest, well, they've made all the restaurants do this, actually. But like I said, what do you do? So anyway, that's what's going on in Samara. The municipality have told the restaurants they got to take the tables and chairs off the beaches. Yeah, it's our last hole. This isn't, we won't be able to, well, it's still kind well, we still of can, the but beach, it's, but it's very limited now. Yeah, you, can, you could sit right down on the beach. Like it's really limited now for seating there. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, like on the beach. Yeah, definitely. Which is crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we had quite a few of us uh, message that was asking us what's going on, what's going on in Samara with the beach and everything. So now you know. No longer can they have... Um, oh, I see up here too. This is all the tables and chairs and everything all been taken off. The beach as well up here. So, what a shame. Oh, yeah, there's Gusto there. Yeah. What we a shame. There. It looks like a very nice restaurant. Yes, it does. It is such a beautiful, beautiful day. Just gorgeous. Isn't it, babe? It is. Mm -hmm. Hey? Yeah. It really is. It's nice. The tide's out. Hence, hence the people down on the beach enjoying yeah. themselves. Yeah, this is Samara. Samara Beach, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway guys, so there you go. Now you know. But don't don't not, not come to Samara because of that, because you can still be on the beaches, just not you like it well on the beach but not on the beach. Well, I'm saying, you can also bring a blanket, you can get food from any of the restaurants. If you want to come right on the beach some and eat it, chairs. bring some chairs, bring bring your own supplies or blanket, whatever they just can't serve you on the beach, but you can certainly go to the restaurant, get the food and come here on, on the beach with yes. it, including alcohol. Yes. Alcohol is legal on the beach, no problem. Yes. So. Which is great. Again, something else you can't do in Canada. Because you're all children. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. They gotta, they gotta make sure they control the adults. Yes like their children yes anyway take care guys thanks for watching again hit that subscribe button like share and uh, hit the note if you hit the notification bell it'll let you know when we're posting new videos uh, we have some more news coming um, we're just waiting for papers to be signed and we'll share that with you hopefully in our next video so pura vida ciao